Is it too soon to hold a vigil? It's up to you, Pez. Whatever feels right. Okay. Let's go ahead. I want to do this for Sid. I just wish Juliet was here so I could hold her hand. You shouldn't have to do this at all. This is James. Because he was so convinced of himself that he pushed this situation. He forced Sid's hand, so I'm telling you now, you better not show up today. Steve, there is no point us playing the blame game. If you're looking to point the finger, it goes one way. Victor. He's Teflon, Perry. You saw how easily and quickly he just walked free yesterday. Exactly. You can't win against someone like him. Today is about remembering Sid. And everything we loved. And it's also about getting justice. Hey. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. I am. You can do it, Bez. I really couldn't find the words to do Sid justice. So here's Juliet. Oh, darling. From the minute I gave Sid Sumner my phone number, I kind of knew that we'd be soulmates forever. It just turns out that forever wasn't that long. And even when I came out to him, and broke his heart. He was still my soulmate. He always had my back. He was never afraid to stick his own neck out to save mine. I should be dead. Not Sid. We loved him. Kind. Funny. And annoyingly talented on that guitar. He tried so hard to drag me out of this mess. Not now. And if only I'd listened. Maybe we wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> it's not your fault, Julia. It's not. I'm the jumpy kid. I don't buy it. Can I go now? No one's keeping you. So if I was going to offer you something, make you feel better. Good stuff, like the other day. See, I don't like seeing people suffer. Yours if you want it. For free. Well, it's not a cash transaction, but... I do need something in return. Yeah? <laughs> See, sad as I am to lose Sid, I still need someone who knows the area, the clients, someone I can rely on to keep the product flowing. If you prove yourself to me, you could be very useful. Me? Well, I don't see anyone else around. <laughs> if you're up for it, I would like to see you back here midday tomorrow. Think about it.
Double espresso. Single apology. Big gesture. I came to yours this morning to ask for your help not to crash you up for nothing like some idiot. That saves me an insult. I'm dead sorry. And I'm dead worried about Ollie. I've just seen him with Victor. He's never going to end this. That he's going to go the same way as Sid. Ollie's got no one. Luke refused to take him home. James, then we have to do something. Did you really believe that I'd take advantage of Ollie? I mean, I know I've got form, but when you look at me, is that the person you see? I just saw red. It's my head, it's all mashed up because of Sid. I don't know, maybe I was a little bit jealous. Why would you be? It's not like we mean anything to each other, do we? No. No, we don't. But can you please help with Victor? I can't, I'm afraid. You'll have to find some other way to take him down. talking to Victor about. He wanted me to work for him. Predictable. And what did you say? I told him I'd think about it. I had to so I could get away, but I'm not going to. Right, listen to me. I think you should do it. What? After what happened to Sid? Yeah, I know, it's risky, but I don't know what else to do right now. Ollie. I promise. I'll have you back. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I know it's dangerous, but Victor will keep on using kids like Sid, like like Charlie and Ella. It will keep on using you if we don't do something. Even the police can't stop him right now. Well, if they can't, how can we? I know you feel bad about Sid, or you wouldn't have shown up before. I feel terrible. We all feel the same. So give up the cat and do what he couldn't manage. Work with Victor and incriminate him enough that it all comes crashing down around his head. I don't think I can. Yeah, you can. You can. And you will.